Some say it's an ungodly law, churches going tax and rates free when Joe Public pays up. But that could change. Do you think churches should have to pay tax and rates? Uh, look, I'm actually uh, quite open to that consideration uh, of, of, of actually thinking through the broader uh, dimension of our charitable uh, taxation regimes and making sure that that's uh, relevant. Under New Zealand law, churches are exempt from paying tax, but Christopher Luxon's left the door open for changes. Yeah, we'll certainly be looking at things like that this term, yep. It's not a priority. But for right here, right now, not a focus for us. But it sure has provoked a response from the country's Christian churches. Can I, I, say, a can I some, say a couple um, of things? First of all, not to get up. It's mm. not that churches pay no tax, because if churches have employees, they pay PAYE. And the other thing is, any kind of charity, churches included, aren't allowed to run out of profit. So their money goes back into something. So oh, look, I'm, I'm on board. I'm like, I think churches should pay rates. I think they should pay taxes. I don't think people should get back the money from the government that they give to a charity. I'm on board. But, you know, we also got to be mm. fair and clear that there are taxes coming out of the church community, even if it's just PAYE. Every, everything, oh, I guess I was going to say everything they buy, this GST, and I'm not, maybe a charity can claim back the GST. I'm not sure about that one, actually. But certainly there are some monies coming out of a church in taxes. And, for example, if a church hires a place, so in other words, it's renting off someone, mm. then that someone pays rates and that someone. So it's, it's, there's, there's, there's a couple of, whilst I'm on Luxon's side with this, well, potential side, there are a couple of caveats that it's only fair for us to mention, Joey. Yeah. All right, we'll keep going. Perceptions out there that churches have a free ride and, and aren't doing much good in the community, so why should they not pay taxes or rates? Um, so, it'd be, yeah, be good to have the conversation and maybe a little, little bit more known about what churches actually do out in the community. Destiny Church leader Brian Tamaki today came out swinging too. You've got to wonder where his headspace is because a lot of the churches... You've got churches to wonder where he is. The, the, um... oh, he's in a very expensive bus. Those are bus mirrors. <laughs> So he's probably in a half million dollar bus. Would be Do you think guess. Hannah kicked him out? He's not allowed in the house. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's no mainstream media allowed inside the Tamaki residence. That's maybe that's part of it. A mess that dysfunctional governments leave in society. Tamaki says his church's social programs are run without government help and have a positive impact. When you think about, he's going to tax that, or he's going to tax our income. I think that's what he's talking about. Um, I'm going to send him a big bill at the end of every year. I think he's going to send you a big bill, mate. What, a, what about that good Christian outworking? Only if I get paid. Only if I get paid will we run these uh, these events for our community. All comes back to the money. Hey, that's a good Christian outreach, isn't it? Charging all the costs that we're doing for free. Christopher Luxon's desire to explore taxes for churches is hot on the heels of a similar call from Auckland Mayor Wayne Brown when it comes to rates. Under the Rating Act, places used for religious worship are exempt. The Mayor says that should change. Well, everybody that we provide services to, which are pipes and water and roads and footpaths and all the rubbish collections and all those things, Everybody who uses them should pay for them. But Tamaki says he effectively does pay rates on Destiny's Auckland headquarters as the property's leased. But if the mayor gets his way, other churches occupying Auckland's priciest sites may be forced to fork out. So there's a, a story, Chewy, and people often say, well, when do you guys ever support? Mm. I mean, Luxon wasn't jumping up and down to do it, but he said he'd investigate it, and I tell you what, I would, I would support him on that. We've got something else to talk about with Brian Tamaki, but first, thoughts around that. Yeah, look, I, I, I think when the tax code was sort of settled and, and, and they were looking at, at churches and that sort of thing, we didn't have the landscape of different factional churches um, that we do now. And I think that assumption that it's a church, so it must do good work in the community, mm -hmm. was enough back then. But now we don't look at them. And I think if you do open it up and go, well, look, you, you do have to pay tax on your income, you do have to pay rates to your local council and that sort of thing, that still leaves the door to go, if you can prove what good you're doing in the community, then you can have a tax write-off. It's just, it's more visibility into what activity you're actually doing. Like if you yeah. want to spin up a, a, a set of social housing or a food bank, or something like that, or even if Destiny's programs can be proven to be effective and not just another side hustle, um, then that would be great as well. But yeah, I, I mean, when it comes to 
you know, you, you talked about if, if a church leases its property, you know, the, the landlord is still paying paying rates and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. In Destiny's case, his, his headquarters in Auckland is leased. Yeah. I don't know the legitimacy of that lease. Or I wonder if it's leased from a church, him. From a church member or, or something yeah. like that. I wonder but if I think it. if you've got someone like the Tamakis that have such an extravagant life, like they're buying two hundred and ten thousand dollar vehicles. They've got multiple properties. They, they're traveling the world. The Harley Davidsons that their circle have, and all of that sort of stuff, is just remarkable. And it it it, it just reeks of a tax free life. But maybe you know, that's why. Maybe maybe, maybe you know, their pay comes from what would be paid in tax. And if they lost that, yeah, oh, things exactly. Get and I I don't think some more visibility into what these organizations are doing and it's still a level playing field you know pr yep. pr prove what you do for the community yep. put a value on it yeah i don't think that's a bad thing and and yeah you're right when i saw that come out and luxon didn't just immediately write it off i went oh yeah i don't think i would have expected that um and this is the right thing to say yeah although although i will take a half step back and go he hasn't made any commitments he said he's mm. open to it we'll see if he actually does yep. anything about it I just think that it's um, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Although I do also think you're talking about when tax codes were set up, there would have been far far less of an effective social um, uh, like like a a, a a a net to catch people in social welfare yeah. state. So churches did do a lot in that area. You know, churches looked after people, churches fed people, churches housed people. But what's happened is when churches started doing less and less and less of that, that's become more the the uh, operation of government now mm. i think there's nothing wrong with someone a church who is doing a doing something that the government could or should be paying for to then go to the government so they're paying their taxes now and they're going to the government going well you need to help fund us this because we're doing your job i think mm. both of those things are fair but for a yeah. long time I've, I've always thought these two things taxes and churches and the big one for me is also donations people donate money and then they get to claim a portion of that back and then the government pays for it so that's the way that the government's acknowledging that world vision or someone is doing their work for them which is cool but i just think that you donate to a cause because you want to support the cause not because you want to get money back from the government yeah, yeah. in the long run so i would i wonder how much i don't even know i could probably google it. i wonder how much of our I wonder how much of the government's three billion dollars going back to landlords could be uh, added in if they started giving, if they stopped giving money back from charitable donations. Just a thought. Mm.